All right, folks, if you're just joining us, my name is Prince Moba. I'm here at the University of Liberia, me campus, where I have come to speak with uh, university students, mostly females who are here. I want to get us, uh, their, their views on the incident that occurred sometime last week involving an American national, one uh, Lucas Richards. It is reported that Lucas attended committing, uh, I mean, how they call it, attended killing his girlfriend, one Jessica Lloyd, who was in a relationship with him. Uh, the, the, the story is that Jessica was, I mean, Lucas went to the, the family's house, asked that he and Jessica take a walk and have a drink, but out of a certain, he took her somewhere to a lonely place and attempted a murdering her. She was saved by a, by a motorist, a motorcyclist, and then she was taken to the hospital. She spoken to the press, she spoken to the hospital authority. Lucas had also spoken that, oh no, I did not do anything to her. In fact, it was a motorcyclist that hit her. She's currently undergoing police uh, investigation. I do not know whether the police are turned her over to the court or he is still at the police custody. But I'm here to speak with for this beautiful directly to the camera. Uh, good afternoon. How are you doing? Fine. Really good. Okay, it is. All right, and reading what? Public administration. Great. Sociology, minor. What's the college? Business. Okay, so. Uh, All right, so. Sorry for that break in the transmission. We're having a little bit of difficulty with the internet. All right, so I was sorry, I was asking, and we have a little bit of problem with the internet so uh, did you follow did you follow the, the story involving uh, Jessica Loy and uh, Lucas uh, Richard did you follow that story yes okay what do you know about that story well, what did you hear not much but okay. what I heard Lucas need to go to jail why, why you think so because Jessica is just a lady like myself she okay. will be my sister my mother my aunt okay. And so on. So Jessica needs justice. How do you describe the action of uh, someone who is having an affair, love affair with a lady, and then, I mean, deliberately decide to take the life away of a lady? Well, I'm sorry. Well, I can say it's a cruel act. Mm -hmm. To me, he is very, he's such a horrible human being. If you, are, if you were the mother of Jessica or this, one of the siblings of Jessica, what would you be calling for? What do you want to see happening to Lucas? Well, I will see justice for my child. You want justice? Yes, justice. Jessica needs justice. Yes, justice. And, 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 and then the next thing I'm going to ask you, uh, there are other ladies out there who probably might be at might, might, might have an uh, intention to fall in a relationship with or people that they just met or maybe someone of a white color skin uh, maybe that's one thing that may have carried Jessica for me mm -hmm. right now to be honest I'm very very afraid mm -hmm. I'm very very afraid okay even if a white guy tell me how I would just turn my back and just laugh and wave but for me to get in relationship with a white guy because I saw what Jessica went through so, I don't know about others, I don't know about other view, but for me, my own view, no. Okay, you think, you think what, what Lucas did has exposed the white, the, the, those of the white colors or those who have come yes, from the Lebanese yes, yes. background or the American background, yes. that will make librarians, ladies, will be a further them? Yes, he has poor, he friend on the way, he's finished finding the way already now, so, just on a librarian again, I will be very afraid, they will be careful to know who to make a companion. Okay. Yeah. Okay, you're people watching you across the world. And um, finally, before I tell you for you, I'm being school one of your two, one or two of your friends who are behind me there. Uh, what do you? What can you say to librarians uh, who are watching you? I mean, maybe this will be some of the cases that will just be, I mean, swept under the carpet. Uh, people will want to know from librarians, ladies. Uh, is this something that you want for women to get on the on their feet? Women to, yes, to rally will, yes, uh, around Jessica. Yes, I want Jessica. All the women to rally around Jessica, mm -hmm. girls, boys, even if you're not a lady, but at least support Jessica. Jessica needs justice. She needs justice. 
what they said the situation may have been if there were no one to rescue Jessica. Maybe, I mean, her body just found somewhere and then they, 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 they bruised on her body, then they is caught. You think what could have been the, the case? Do you think uh, there could be a possibility for Lucas to be here responsible for that? Nope. Okay. He would deny it. He would deny it because first day, even if he went to a hostel, pick her up at the end of the day, he may give a lie to her parents and say that, oh, I dropped Jessica so and so place. And that's and what he yeah, was saying. Yeah, and he said he was yes, hated it. Yeah, and up to now, I haven't seen Jessica, I haven't heard from Jessica. Do you think this is how many Liberian girls have been killed around? And so many times. The killing is too much. To the extent that they even make some of a spread that even when we go out, we're rushing to come back home. All right, so anything from us, I'll tell you for you. Nothing, I'm done. It's okay. Okay, folks, I'm still at the University of Liberia campus here. I'm trying to find uh, some of the students that I can speak with. Uh, uh, like I said, from the onset, I uh, came here uh, to speak with some of the, the girls, I mean, some of the, the females who are here and who came to school today. And the issue is um, a Liberian lady was was actually was found in a pool of blood somewhere uh, in the Dixway area. And then it was reported that a guy that she had a, a relationship with one uh, a Lucas Loy, I mean Lucas uh, Richards, did the act, and there's another uh, lady before me. How you doing, my sister? I'm okay. Okay, Jess, what's her name, man? My name is Erica F. Okay, I'm speaking to you from the University of Liberia, uh, me campus, uh, up uh, Capitol Hill. What's her college? Business. Okay, and what, what are you reading? Accounting major. Okay, look in the camera. Tell us, tell me, how do you, what do you know about? Did you, did you ever hear about the issue involving Jessica and 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 her boyfriend, uh, Marcus uh, Richard? I mean, Lucas Richard. Sorry. Yes. What did you know about that? What do you know about that story? I can really explain now. Okay. All we need is justice. All. all you need is justice. Yes. You want for the guy to facing the justice. Yes. And do you think justice is going to work for him, for Jessica in the Liberian society? Yes. Especially when it comes to a white, white color? Yes. Okay. And then, uh, do you think Lucas action, how can you describe that action? Was it something uh, devilish? Was it something horrible? Is it something unbelievable? How can you describe it? I can't really explain to go into it, but it was very bad. It was very bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, someone that you have an affair with, and then take them, take them from their house, and went into the bush or somewhere outside of the house and decided to, to murder them. Was that something that that does not come that that you know that she never thought of? Is this something that you, that will make Liberian girls or Liberian ladies will be afraid of people of white colors? Yes, it will make everybody afraid right now because the country is not safe. But we the young people that are coming up. And what could be your advice to young people too, as it come, when it comes to having relationship with people of white colors? Hmm? Why not run them? away? Hmm? Because right now, if you were to see white men telling me how I would run. Hey man, for what now? <laughs> because it's saying that I have All white men are the same. I know. Okay. But they say we want a passport, they won't treat them. Okay, what's your name again? Erica F. Nimne. Okay, Erica, thanks for speaking to me. Uh, Steve, trying to find some ladies, more ladies here on the UMU campus to speak with them. Uh, my name is Prince, or if not, I will speak with some of the gentlemen so they can get their own perspective about what happened uh, to Jessica Lloyd and uh, what should be done with Lucas. Lucas is currently undergoing police investigation. I, not, I do not know whether he's been turned to I mean, stand over to the court, but we're going to follow up on that. But thanks for following me. Uh, keep following me. I'm still here at the U.S. I'm still here. I'm still at the U.S. Campbell, and then uh, the ladies are saying Jessica needs justice. Just Jessica, Jessica should. I mean, uh, Lucas should be you sent to jail. But do you think Jessica can win Liberia? I'm coming back to you, even though I spoke to you earlier on. Do you think Jessica can win Liberia? No, don't come out with me. Okay, <laughs> thank you so much. As the folks keep following me, your name again, like I asked? Erica F. Nimmer. Okay, Just Erica, thank you Jessica. so much. Uh, I'm still here. I'm trying to speak Jessica. with uh, our our. You welcome. Thank Bye. you so much. Okay, and I'm still here trying to find some of the students here at the UME campus to speak with. Uh, we're trying to get views on what uh, what should be done or what they make of uh, the incident on 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 uh, over the weekend. That was actually on Friday. The incident occurred on Friday last week, and what did they make of that? Say. 
Okay, so we are streaming live on Focus on Liberal TV. And then we are still here. Sorry for uh, the noise in the background or the break in the transmission. I'm taking the camera around to see whether I can speak with more uh, students here. Uh, uh, we thought that to be speak with more, with more females. And so I just keep following me. This is the US based Focus on Liberia, and my name is Prince Mova. Joining us. Uh, my name is Prince. Uh, I'm taking my camera around. I want to speak with some gentlemen who are at a year camp here. Uh, we want to know exactly what uh, uh, can I talk to you? Can I talk to you? Can I talk to you? <laughs> okay, yeah, I want to know uh, whether the information that we get is true or not true. And this is the UME campus. Uh, this is the capital here campus. I'm speaking with students of the University of Liberia here. To give that perspective, I will speak with our gentlemen. I will speak with journal ladies. I've spoken with two ladies already. And I'm taking the camera to uh, uh, a gentleman here. I'm going to introduce myself to him. Uh, my name is Prince Moba, and I work for Prom FN and Focus on Liberia. Uh, I'm actually getting a view of uh, students, of Liberians, on the study which are involving Jessica Loy, a Liberian lady who uh, was found in the pool of blood. It was reported that uh, his boyfriend, I mean her boyfriend rather, one Lucas Richard committed the act. I want to speak to you on about that. I don't know whether you saw the video on the social media or you don't know anything about that. Okay, what's up about you? Did you see that? Okay, so I want to talk to you for one or two minutes. How are you doing? I'm okay. How is it? I'm good. What's your name, man? Joseph. Joseph. Okay, and you still at the University of Liberia? Sure. What's your college? I'm in business I'm in public administration. Public administration. All right. Uh, so tell me, what do you make of that story? Is this something that you, you believe or not? Yes, I can believe it because uh, I witnessed a video late, late yesterday evening. I saw the girl at the hospital, and her journal was full of being you know, she had a bandage around her neck and around her head also. So okay. I and what, what do you think, if the, the story is actually true, what do you think should be done to Lucas Rigid, who is alleged to have committed the act? Um, they may be prosecuted according to, according to the law. Okay, according to the Liberian law. And what do you think? That might cause uh, among uh, the white community, I mean, a white man is being alleged or committing such an eye. What it, 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 is, is that something that is a stigma against them, negative like stigma on them? Yeah, sure. Okay. But um, it should not be treated lightly, uh, not because of the racist. Because he's a wet man in this country, the black country. Or the color of a color, he should, he should be prosecuted according to the law. That's what I say. The mom also spoke, and many people have been blaming, blaming, many people blaming the mother of being the cause of the girl getting into the relationship. Uh, what do you make of that? Did, 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 did you listen to the mother on the video? No. Okay, go ahead. But to assume it's, it's obvious that a girl will decide to make a living. Some people, I mean, they will school, is they are schooling. So my daily source of income. So if she chose to live a life that way, it doesn't mean that the man she she murder her or she do something else with her. So I can't blame neither the, the mother or the girl herself for for what for what the man did. He was wrong for the man. What do you think the the story could have been if Jessica have died in the process? I mean, and then the body just found somewhere with a bruise on her body and the net cut. What do you think the story could have been? Do you think Lucas is still going to be here liable for that? No, I can't tell. Okay. Because if we had, if the film was not going to have any witness against Lucas, okay. it was going to say he traveled off and he left. And this happened because everyone knows that they around the countryside, there are some, some dead bodies that can be found and no explanation about that. So do you I, think this, this, this? Do you think uh, these are ways sometimes people can be killed in this country yeah, and sure. it comes from other areas? Seriously. Thank you. What's your name again? Joseph. All right, Joseph, thanks for speaking to us. Another gentleman here. I'm taking my camera to him. My name is Prince Moba. I'm here at the UME campus here up Capitol Hill. I'm speaking with uh, students of the University of Liberia to get a perspective on uh, what transpired on last Friday involving Jessica Loy and Lucas Riches. It is alleged or uh, reported that Jessica Loy, uh, Lucas attempted killing Jessica, uh, his, his, his girlfriend. Uh, the case is, I mean, Jessica is at a hospital while Lucas <laughs> is at a police station. 
How you doing, my brother? What's your name? Excuse me? Yeah, I... You gotta be audible oh, so yeah. people can hear you, right? Yeah, yeah. How you doing? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, and what's your name? My name is Student... Be, be, be audible, you are on the camera. My name is Student Luther Maswell. We have on the University of Black. University of Black. <laughs> All right. Um, I mean, he, he's having yeah, that was, yeah, he having difficulty. So, so did, did you see the video involving Jessica? You saw it, but you didn't, you didn't see it. So probably you know anything, you know nothing much about it, right? Okay. So let me speak with someone that knows about it, right? Okay. Thank you, folks. My name is Prince. I'm here at the U.S. U.S. Me, me campus. I'm speaking with folks. Can I talk to you, my brother? Do you know? Did you see the video? Okay. Okay. Okay, folks, my name is Springs uh, from uh, Focus on Liberia Television and from FNTV. I'm speaking with uh, students of the University of Liberia involved, I mean, concerning the case involving one Lucas Richard. He's alleged to have uh, attempted killing one uh, Jessica Loy, who was his girlfriend. The video been trending on social media. There have been accounts, different accounts from the murder, from the, from, from the motorcyclist or the trust cyclist who said that he didn't want to save the girl. The girl also spoke on at the hospital. I don't know why I saw the video. Did you see the video? Mm, I have not seen it. But you heard about it? Oh, okay, great. You saw the footage. All right, so great. I, I, at least you saw something about the incident. So welcome to Focus on Liberia TV. How are you doing, my brother? I'm fine. What is the name? My name is Iwasa Okay, down at the University of Liberia. Yeah, uh, student. Yeah, student. Okay. So reading what? Problem in social. Okay. So, I mean, tell me, what do you make of that story? The entire story? What's the thing? Is this something that it should be believable or it should be adopted? Uh, for me, I cannot be too exact to say I'll tell you believable. But for me, from the very testimony that I've heard, mm -hmm. uh, I think there is still more. We need to be done okay. to a setting what uh, this incident happened. Now, I listen to the lady herself, mm -hmm. that was a little bit convinced because she is a victim and she said the man did as well, which I cannot explain all here on mm -hmm. the video because mm -hmm. it's a long story. So, from her own interview, I can say that, yes, finally I believe it because she was the one for at the time, I have not heard from her, I still consider it. I still doubt it. Everything I was saying, though I saw footage and all of that, but I doubt it because people make story and sometimes when you go and check at the end, it's not right. Sometimes it's false information to create their own story and not to. Sometimes that made people, but when I saw it, and when I heard from her, mouth. Is this something you hear from the horse's mouth? And when I heard from her mouth, I believe her, and I believe what she said. But can I think government should do something about it? That is, I think they are taking the first step to arrest the man He's in police custody. They have done that preliminary investigation, which is good also, because that's what our law says. We can jump the gun to go and do something else. We have to follow the proceeding. And that they have started. So we are watching the problem. We are watching. We ask everybody to be patient as this case goes on. Great. Because, Thank you. Yeah. So, so what, what, what sort of stigma does it leave within the white community in Liberia? I mean, someone would say, oh, white people are this, uh, white people are not good. So, what sort of stigma you think the action, if uh, uh, Lucas is found guilty? What sort of stigma are you think it will leave? Uh, people will have that red view. Oh, no. But for me, specifically for my field of study, mm -hmm. and what I've learned what he here, uh, human beings are different okay. in nature and attitude. Mm -hmm. So, this one man attitude, and I mean, you see all oh, wet in the same way. But it's just, we're going to stigmatize those missionaries that we are. Like, I learned he's a missionary. He came here and I have been doing some missionary where I saw food, the photos of him baptizing some people. They not get a good scan or not show a good picture of the Christian community, especially those missionaries that have been coming to our country over the years and try to do centers here, open schools and, 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 so, and so forth. And some of them have come and established churches here that some of us follow today. Mm -hmm. So they not give a good picture. But for me, in particular, I will not tell you that because of what Luke did, the rest of the world are not good. And then finally, before I tell you for you, what do you think the studio could have been if Jessica could have, have died in the incident and then Lucas went his way and then the body is discovered? And Jessica, and then Lucas says, No, I, I mean, I'm not the one. What do you think the studio could have been? 
Yes, because before even she spoke, right, we heard a lot of things. Mm. We learned that she does it. Some people reported that she had that. And there was speculation. People had their own opinion mm -hmm. on the issue. Some said maybe it was a motorcycle lady that killed again. Some said Luca did not kill again. Some said it was Lucas. So it was, we were in a state of confusion. And we were really hoping that something realistic would have come up, like what happened. Hopefully for her, let's say we are happy that she did not die and she was able to come back after all the day so many and other body she went through some uh, thorough medication and now she can speak a little bit louder we hear her. So we are happy for that for saving her life. And now we can get a real story about if and only if she has died, then they were still gonna take us time mm. to really accept what happened because there were gonna be a lot of story flagging like, on the newspaper, on the print media, on the electronic media, all of that people are gonna have their own story to this case. But for now, what I can say is that since we know that at least she survived and for me at Thank you, thank you so much for speaking to me. Your name again, my brother. Uh, my name is Nima Senda once again. Thank All right. you also for coming. Thank you. So I'm still here. Uh, I still want to. Can I speak to uh, somebody around here? I'm still at the University of Liberia, me campus here up uh, Capitol Hill. I was trying to speak with students uh, concerning the issue, the issue of uh, Jessica Lord. But I cannot get to it for one minute. How are you doing? Now? Welcome to uh, this live interview. My name is Prince. Of course, did, did, did you did you see did you see anything about the Jessica Lloyd? Stop. Did you see anything about that? Did you see the video or the footage on the social media? Have you any idea? Bro, I have any idea about that thing. Okay, great. All right, so folks, if you just joining us, I think we can uh, call the a day on this live interview. But thanks for following us. Uh, we will be coming back here. Uh, maybe tomorrow uh, to speak with more students to get their view on the situation uh, to let them know exactly so that we can I mean so that we can I mean understand from them what actually they know about it how do they feel about it and how it affects uh, the librarian society uh, so uh, again my name is Prince Mobile and I've been here uh, bringing this live video do join me another time for another live video. This is the UME campus here uh, up Capitol Hill. Uh, we've come here specifically to get views of students and we done that. We spoke with a few of them. We're going to be here tomorrow again for another live video. Thanks for following me. Bye-bye.